Hello everyone, in this series of videos, we'll be discussing integral calculus. Okay, for today, let's have an introduction and review in differential calculus. And so ito yung mga FAQs regarding integral and differential calculus. Sagutin natin isa-isa. Number one, which is easier? For me, it is... Sa operations at sa pagsusolve, mas madali yung differential calculus. Kasi, pag halimbawa, nagsabi ka lang ng get the derivative of y is equal to x raised to 5e e times e raised to x raised to 2 minus 1 all over ln x sin x e raised to x. Kaya nating isolve yon Pero pag halimbawa binaliktad natin, sinabi natin get the integral of yung sinabi ko na function, mahirap isolve yon and kadalasan hindi na talaga nasosolve. Kaya ba i-self-study ang difficult and integral? Yes, as long as you have the right references and you have the dedication to study, kaya yan. Dapat ba akong matakot? No. Saan ka naman matatakot? <laughs> Alin ang mas maraming kailangan habisaduhin? Integral calculus. Kasi mas maraming formulas doon. Hindi naman actually ang pangit kasi ng term na habisaduhin. Kasi kaila ang ibahin natin, kailangan yung tanong which requires more practice. Yan. Integral calculus pa rin. Saan mas maraming bumabagsak? sa both lang din same lang din naman depende sa professor do we have to master algebra to be a calculus lord actually hindi naman kailangan i-master kasi kailangan lang uh, you know you know how to factor you know how to do quadratic ayun tapos pag syempre kapag marunong ka kasi tas may dedication kapag ni-review mo ulit yung mga past subjects like algebra, madadalian ka na lang sa calculus. This one is discussed in differential calculus. Okay, so the concept of differential. So, it, the, the differential of y is equal to f of x is equal to its derivative multiplied by the differential of the independent variable. So, yun lang yung concept ng differential. Hindi na natin ididig deeper pa kasi sa difficult na topic na yan. So, let's have an example. Let's have examples. <laughs> y is equal to 15x squared, x cubed minus 2x. So, the differential of y is equal to 45x squared minus 2. Since naka-differential na tayo, we're just simply going to enclose the answer in the derivative inside parentheses and then adding dx here. This is now the answer. Okay. Next example, we have s is equal to 2 sine raised to 4. Okay, so we get the differential of S. This will become 8 sine cubed T times the derivative of sine T. We have cosine T. And then derivative of T, 1. And then finally, we have the DT. So this is now the answer. Okay, number 3. M is equal to 3 ln p cubed. So using the uh, property of logarithm, 3 here can be brought down here. Okay, so we have here 3 times 3 ln p. So, we have 9 ln p. Okay. So, we can now solve this. The differential of m is equal to 9 over p. So, times the uh, differential of p. 
So, ito na yung sagot. Okay, we're done reviewing the concept of differential. Let's now move on to the integral calculus. So, it is the branch of calculus that deals with anti-differentiation or integration. So, in, in other words, anti-differentiation is the reverse of differentiation. So, di ba nung mga bata pa tayo, tinukuan tayo ng... Unang-unang tinukuan sa atin is addition. Anna has 5 apples. Clark has 2 apples. How many do they have together? Mga ganun. And then, after that, we were taught subtraction. And then, later on, we have multiplication and division. And then, dito ko sulat. We were taught how to raise... To the nth power and then later on we were taught how to take the nth root and then after that we were also taught raise uh, exponential functions and then the logarithmic functions so same lang din yan kaya nauna yung differential calculus sa integral okay uh, integral Integration, meron tayong dalawang klase. We have the indefinite and the definite. So, itong definite muna, this one is what you see on your calculator. You may ganyan. So, it has upper and lower limits. So, ito yung upper limit. Ito yung lower limit. And the answer is particular. So, ibig sabihin, uh, fixed to, may, may be a constant or it may become a, a particular equation. And then, for the indefinite integration, it has a mandatory constant of integration plus capital C. Ibig sabihin, yung sagot natin, kailangan laging may plus C. So, pag walang plus capital C, mali na yung sagot mo. Okay, so let's now have the indefinite integral. So, we have here the integral of capital F of X dx is equal to F of X plus C. So, these are the parts. First, of the left-hand side, we have the integral sign. So, this one, that is like letter S, right? It is a distorted S, sigma, which means uh, this one has the concept of sum. And then the capital F of X is what the what we often call the integrand. And then the dx is the differential of X, the variable of integration. So pag sinabi, pag ganito yung nakita nyo, wow, ganyan, dy, dz. Ibig sabihin, y is the variable of integration. Ito naman, z is the variable of integration. For the right hand side of the equation, that is simply the, the indefinite integral of capital F of x. And as you notice, we have the plus capital C. So this one is mandatory. <laughs> Pag walang plus capital C yung sagot mo, mali ka na. Up next, we will have the five basic integration formulas.